Negative. Randy Mike? Yep. I get it. Here's the bait. Here's his net. Okay, that's the bait on the side. You see how close he is. Over here is a little better. Oh yeah, they're shaking on that one. <laughs> yeah, they're shaking. Right. There's fish in it. That was a great throw. Yeah. Good Lord. That was a perfect circle. <laughs> 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 Those <both laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, you guys ready? Oh yeah, there we go. All right, there we go, there we go. That a boy. That's what we needed. Record time. <laughs> if you were cooking. You might want to pick up your sausages that are in the back over here. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. They're, oh, they're, they're on good, the ground. Man. They're still good. They're still good. Sausage uh, down. What happened? They're still good. Looking into the side there. Fish on, baby. Man, we but, oh, loosen your drag. Your drag's too tight. Yeah. Backwards. Jet skiers now. What's going on over here? <sighs> okay, so what's the number one mistake striped bass fishermen make? By far, without a doubt, fishing too deep. You know, we mark these fish deep, we see them down there, and we just won't leave them alone. And chances are they're not biting. There's exceptions to every rule, of course, but 99% of the time they're not feeding. They are down there because maybe they're recovering, they had a heavy night of feeding, you know, they're digesting food. In fresh water, a lot of times they're down there because they're looking for cooler water with more oxygen. Either way, they're not down there to feed. So this video covers how we look for fish in the shallow waters and how aggressive and nasty they are. They fight better, they're easier to catch, and this video shows several techniques on how we go after them. Hope you guys like it. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't. I sure do appreciate it. Okay, we're see 25 feet of water right here, and you can see we were in a channel. No fish in this channel. All the fish are up in here shallow. 15, 16, 18, 12 feet of water. See it coming up? We marked fish deep. We saw fish at 25 to 40 feet, but they're not eating. We're not interested in those. You know, we want the fish that are coming up here shallow. So that's what we're concentrating on. See contours like this? Get up in here and drift these big contour areas. You heard us talk before about fishing shallow near deep, right? Well, we're only in 12 feet of water, but we have uh, a channel right here, a lot of deep water. So you see these big flat areas? That's a great spot to try right in here. A great spot to try in here. Shallow water next to deep. See the river channels right there? River channel comes around. Stay in these big flat areas with the contours. Shallow, shallow. That fish was at nine feet of water. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Woo! <laughs> great camera, great camera. Fish on a spoon, baby. Look at that. See your camera. Fish on a spoon. Hit the cord on top. Left handed. Yeah. Dude, that's a big fish. Right here, top button. Yep. Sun's starting to set. Prime time. I finally, finally got to use the new accurate turn. This is my first fish on this reel. There you go. How's it feel? Smooth? Oh yeah. It's a high speed. It's for jigging, you want high speed. And I started marking them on the screen, and it was only nine feet of water. Right. And you saw the fish on the bottom, and you're marking them big in nine feet of water. You know there's a lot of fish down there because your cone's so narrow, you know? Yep. Just drop the spoon down. Felt something tapping, felt something tapping. We dropped off the 25. Yep. That's right, you caught it right on the edge there? That's right, right, point nine, nine to uh, 25. Yep. When you see big arches and only nine feet of water, you know this big fish because uh, your cone is super, super narrow. Right. Here okay, Monday, okay, Monday, your line. Fish just turned, okay, I don't have him in the tail. I thought I may have snagged him in the tail because he ran so hard. All right, look at him, he's still going. And I just have the clicker on just so you guys can hear him run in between, that's all. I might be up in you. It might be together. <laughs> We're all together here. Gotta love a strike from his team. There you go. You were working her too. <laughs> that big Ben Parker spoon, man. Yeah. That Ben Parker. Designed by a largemouth bass fisherman. It looks like a big shithead. They look like these big bunkers. Now, how do you actually use one of those? It's a flutter spoon, so it's real simple. If you're new to a spoon, a flutter spoon is really good to use because you can do no wrong with it. You can drop it down and reel it in, drop it down and reel it in. I was just jerking it, let it down, jerk it, because we're only 10 feet of water. I hope that makes the cut. <laughs> Here we go. Where am you? Coming close, come on. Come right on in, Mikey. There she is. Oh, man. Keep your line loose, Eric. Wow. Nice. <laughs> wow. Look at that on what the a spoon. Fight, what a fighting fish, man. <laughs> holy, holy moly. Smack that spoon good. That Ben Parker. Ben Parker spoon. There we go. That's right. Hold her up. Take a step back there, Mikey. That's a nice fish, baby. Nice job, dude. Pretty fish. Found the tail. There you go. That's how you do. Good girl. Nice. Good girl. There she goes. Go make some babies. Oh, that was fun. Nice job, Mikey. Yeah, get that popper, bro. What's crashing? Get that popper. Where is it? Put it in neutral. Neutral. Put it in neutral. I want that. Where is it? I saw it first. <laughs> They're, they're crashing on bait right here. Oh, they got it already. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> you suck. I want it. Get the video it. camera. Get the video camera. Where is it? I got it. I got it. It's already recording. Just turn that towards me. Turn it towards me. One pop. <laughs> it's a good fish, too. So I cast this popper out. <laughs> Dude, it hit the water. Put the jig in the water. <laughs> Kill the motor. Put the jig in the water. Tommy, put your bait on the other side of the boat. That jig down there under the boat too. That's what you mean, Mike. Let's check out these marks. On the side of the boat. Well, it's gonna be a while. Holy cow! Look at that. That's my reel, bro. They're blowing up. Put that jig straight down. Eric's in the hookup right now. Always have a popper hooked up. <laughs> we were fighting over the popper. 
Look at that. There it is. Catch a fish, bro. She's all lit up. I barely got to twitch that. That's gonna be the biggest fish of the day. Down to the leader. Jeez. Off. Ah. No. Right here at the boat. That's the biggest fish of the day. Is there a He's hooked up. Killing him on that spoon. Don't lose my spoon. <laughs> Is it blue? I think so. I'd be surprised, man. That's a pretty quick one. Yeah. There, he whacked three stripers just like that. So three stripers and a stripe on a plug. Real quick. This is fun. Look at that screen right there. Yeah, man. I don't know if the camera's recording or not. It is. Oh, it's fun. Another one. Get another one. Get another one. Look at them all. Getting them on spoons. Getting them on plugs. Getting them on bunker. The screen is lit up, man. Wow. Right. Drifting live bunker in the big bunker schools out here. It's a lot of bunker. <laughs> it's a lot of bunker. I mean, if you threw a net, I don't think you could miss. Then again, I bet you could. Then again, I threw it on top of it earlier, and we missed. Fast, dude. fast, fast, fast. Dude. Our lines are gonna go right through them. Big bass sitting underneath. Oh, Swag and drop. Look at the screen. Look at the fish finder. Looks like there's. Dude, it looks like a mountain underneath. <laughs> I've never, never, I've never needed it in that before. I'm going to fall asleep over here. Oh. Well, that's good. Yeah, baby. Coming in. Crank them all in. Crank this one. Big. I'm just got a big one. Just put it out. Fresh bait. Was it a fresh bait? Nope. Go behind, behind the boat. That's right. With no float? No float. Everyone's going to see you hooked up. Oh yeah. 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 She's a runner. Can't use bait too big for striper guys. You can't go too big. You just can't. So people concerned they're using bait that's too big. That's the bait that that fish just ate right there. So that's what they eat, you know? They don't chunk them up before, they eat them whole, the fish. Didn't even hurt. Didn't even hurt. Feel it. <laughs> oh, you're good. Ah, no, he's good. Nice one. Bad boy. Excuse me. Edit that out. <laughs> Photoshop it. Photoshop that bird. Adorable. The fish is not small. I'm like, it's enormous. <laughs> <laughs> Want me to hold it? It'll look a lot bigger. <laughs> Where's Timmy when you need him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right.
Send her back. Send Let him go. Let her go. Let her go, boss. Let her go. Come over to the side. Let her go. Let her go. Are we moving or where are you going? Come on, baby. 13 feet. I think we're good here for a while. All right. We're kind of scared of the edge. What happened with me, Rod? Are you moving to the other side? I think it's here. I don't know. We're good till we get to that rock pile. Oh, right there. Here, I know you put up a fight. Oh, there it goes. That's it, man. He moved. I'm putting a fresh one on anyway. Well, that's the one I wanted. Just bitch slapped me. He fish slapped you? Live. Yeah, some of them are just some are pretenders. Eric, we can't. It, we went to like sixty bunkers. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, this is gonna be a good. This is gonna be a nice fish. Oh my god. Something's chasing that one. They're popping right here. Something's chasing fish right here. I can see the tail marks right there. Eric, don't cast over him, but I would cast on this side. It's fast pandemonium out here. And they were right here, but don't cast over him. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, we got him. Yeah. yeah. Pretty. That's a pretty girl. Thank you, sir. Fish, bro. Team old school, baby. Here we go. See how Mike's not working her backwards? He's just holding her in the water. That's all you got to do. Don't work him backwards. I know when you're sitting there just holding it, you feel you should do something, but working it backwards can dam damage the uh, filaments and their gills. So just hold them in the current. Even if there's no current, just hold them right here if you want to rock them back and forth left or right, but don't move them forward and back. What I mean by rock them is just kind of grab the tail and just do this a little bit if you want. Kind of opens their gills and closes them. Oh yeah, look at that. You know, but you don't want to push them forward and back. Those gills are not designed to move backwards ever, so. We don't want to push them backwards. Uh, Just kind of opens and closes the gills, you know? I think the fish is liking the massage. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's ready. Dorsal's up. Ready? <laughs> she agrees. <laughs> Good job, bro. Thanks, brother. Found it. All right, guys, I'm going to show you the three ways we hook these baits. We're drifting with all the baits off one side of the boat. If we hook them all the same, they're going to cross and we're going to have messes all day. So there's a couple ways to add more baits on one side without having them tangle. So the first way is we'll go in the mouth and out the top. This is a, a nine knot circle hook. Okay, this is an owner mutu circle. Okay, we're gonna go up in the mouth, out the nose. Okay, some guys have some split shots on it, some have no weight at all. And these obviously will be pulling these along just like this. Another way to do it is you can hook them in the back just behind the behind the back of the dorsal fin and this fish will pull away and he'll swim to the surface the whole time because as he pulls away this tightens up he comes up so he'll be near the surface the whole time if you're in shallow water it's a great way to do it brings a lot of attention in makes a lot of noise on the surface a little deeper we want to hook him in the tail i'll go ahead and in the anal fin down here okay now as this fish pulls away he does this and he'll want to go to the bottom now you got to mix it up you can't have two guys right next to each other with the same amount of weight with the baits hooked the same way they're going to crisscross so if you have one hooked in the lips one hooked in the tail one lip one tail or you might have one guy with one ounce one guy with no weight one guy with three ounce but you got to mix it up a little bit that's a great way to mix it up some in the tail some in the dorsal some in the anal some in the nose putting this one out right now catch a big bass we got a dual got a double we got a double baby. Uh, Mike, oh, Eric, Eric, let his go quick. Mike's not so jealous. That's all right. I'm, I'm right next to the boat.
that's a big one. Oh, that's a lunker. Oh, that is a fatty. Fatty. Oh, yeah, there's Tommy's line. Official, we have no idea how many fish we caught today. Smack that live bunker. You a good one? They're all good. They're all good. Oh yeah, Mike. Why not? Do you know if this guy gotta come in? I think good. Turn in the boat. <laughs> Got under the boat. He's very smart and very dumb. Fish on! Screaming! Screaming! Pushed it up over. This is not a super big fish, right? Ate that whole live bunker. It's a big it was a big bunker too. That's right. That's what Don't they do though, man. Alright. Don't be afraid to use big bait, big baits, people, big baits. Go big, go big. I can allow for it. Here it goes. Good. <laughs> he pushed. He accidentally pushed the lever all the way to full throw, and it was pulling drag like it was free. Do you need a bite of sausage? <laughs> oh. oh boy. Oh, oh. We only had smell o vision. <laughs> That's fine. That's what happens when you let the net sink a little too long. So why do you release all the fish and not eat them? 